Right, so um, one of the things that sometimes happens before you get to this stage is it will ask you for um, your time zone and your language. So you want to put Dhaka, Bangladesh, and your language as English. Um, that's usually the only hiccup that happens. All right, but now once you're at this stage, what you want to do is you want to go to your email and since this is a demo account, that email doesn't actually exist. So I can't do that exactly. So um, what you want to do is go to your email and click on the email that I sent to you about joining Microsoft OneNote. However, um, if you are unable to find the email, um, the procedure that you'd go through, or if you were to try and look for the software yourself, you'd click on OneNote, um, <clears throat> and that should open a new window for you. And this will now take you to a OneNote um, section of um, the software package. And okay, if you've used it before, it'll have your, your classes here, or you, in this case, you want to click um, Share with me, or you can click on Class Notebooks. And on Class Notebooks, which you'll probably need to do the first time, and then you want to click on 7A. When you click on 7A, that will then open up your particular section of our class. And it will take you to a page like this. Now, once you get to this stage, and this is it's perfectly fine for you to edit your documents on here. So you can bookmark this so that it will always open up in this place. It will ask you to log in, but you can always bookmark this page so that you can access this um, online. However, what I would like you to do is I would like you to work in the app. Um, I will show you how to do that just now. So over here, there are two sections that you want to look at. There's the content library. And if you click on the content library, you open up the content library and there will be things for you to use in the content library over there. Um, the second area will be your sp specific area, which nobody else except um, your teachers and, um, and yourself will have access to. Um, so you want to go to the project section and in the project section, you'll see what's called project template. Now you should rename this with the name of your current unit. Okay, when you start a new unit, we'll give you a new project template and this is where it will come up. And you should name this according to the name of your project. So I'm gonna do that now. So you can do that either by changing the heading over here um, and um, putting a unit title. Uh, I'm gonna call this Okay, so there we have a new project title, although this is not the one for you. You have to specifically choose the project title that you are doing, that this is given to you for. All right, now once you're here, you can edit and type in things and um, work accordingly. However, as I said, I would like you to work in the app. So what you need to do is come to the top, and this will be slightly different on um, depending on your browser. And it will then launch OneNote, and not this version of OneNote, because in my computer there happen to be two. It will open up your correct version of OneNote without any errors, and it will take you to your page. Okay, and there you can edit the software and use, I mean, you edit the uh, information and use it accordingly. Now, special things to note. This line here should not be dragged across. So it's quite possible that, yeah, well, I'm running out of space. Let me make this go further, and you're whitening this. This will make it difficult when you're trying to print or submit your work because then the work will go, will move out of the page. So you want to make sure as you work, you do not move this line across. Okay, so um, It functions pretty much the same as Microsoft Word does. Um, you know, you've got your fonts, your italic, your highlight, yeah, you can format, 
but there are a couple of few things that you can also do in the app. You can attach files, you can attach pictures easily, um, you hit links, or you can add audio. Um, I will speak spe specifically to certain individuals about adding audio. Um, this is a lot of feature for everybody. Um, you can do forms, but you're not really looking at that now. So for your surveys and so forth, you can do that directly in, in the app here. Um, the researcher allows you to um, record and find information. So you can click here in your researcher and <clears throat> that will um, give you access. It's not a uh, terribly great research, but it does give you access to um, research. So if I put in um, a, a particular term of, uh, for example, 2D printing, okay, it will come up with a number of um, suggestions that you can look at and uh, read over here, or open in the browser, and you can add the citation. Um, you can add the sources of the citation directly into your OneNote article from here. Okay, um, so let me just do that. So I want to cite this person. That is the title. I can add that and then um, I know what item or where I got some of my research from. So this helps you get organized, um, especially when you are starting to do your project from the beginning and you're trying to write out your, your research questions. You can add your sites and then later actually do the research as you go through. Okay. Um, if you want to do equations, you can do them over here. Now, this looks slightly different on the uh, Mac. Uh, I'm using a PC. The apps are slightly different, which is unfortunate. You can draw, although this has limited use for you. Um, if you've got uh, a touch screen and a pen, then um, you, you can draw. Um, you can draw with the mouse, although that's not as effective. And I wouldn't encourage you to use this for your designs at all. Um, yeah, I think, I think th those are the main uh, features that you need to be aware of. Um, this actually you don't have as a student. Okay, so once you're at this stage, the nice thing about using uh, OneNote is that your work will be in your app, it will be on your laptop, and it will automatically sync with um, the the servers and automatically sync with your teacher's computer. Um, so this means that you have to be um, on time. It will also give us the added feature of telling us when you access your information. If you've changed something since the last time we looked at it, it will show us on our view that you um, have changed something. It will tell us, um, for example, this is highlighted dark color to tell me that you've added something new to your document. So we can actually keep track of who's doing work and who's not doing work, who's, and what work they've done. And it will show us if um, in one lesson you've got a full portion like this, that's showing as the work done in that lesson, it shows us your productivity. Um, and it does that even online. But that's one of the advantages of using this app, which um, I think will be beneficial to you and uh, your teachers. I hope you enjoy using Microsoft OneNote because it um, makes it easier and quicker for you to access your work. You just open the app and you're signed in and you're ready to go. Internet or no internet, you don't have to worry about that. The program will worry about that for you. Losing your work, if you lose your computer, your work will be backed up online and uh, your teacher will have a copy of your work as well in its most recent state. Okay, and you never have to save anything. Just close the app and carry on. Enjoy using Microsoft One.